Hello and welcome to Emma Reads Reddit. Today I'm reading from r slash am I the a-hole. This first story was posted by waitress fml00. Am I the a-hole for refusing to return a tip and telling a couple that I don't have time to play mediator? I'm a 22 year old female waitress at a Texas roadhouse. This is one of my two jobs to put myself through college. Most days are fine, but other days are a living hell. Yesterday I was assigned a table that had a husband, wife and what appeared to be a teenage daughter, maybe 17. Everything was going smooth at first and the wife ordered a margarita. The husband then tried ordering a beer. The wife instantly lost her noodle and said, Oh no, he will not have a beer, he will have water. She then turned to him and said something along the lines of him not needing to drink because he was driving. He said, no, the daughter could drive. It was childish. Anyways, he keeps telling me he wants a beer. She keeps telling me no. In this industry, situations like this are a lose-lose for waitresses. If I get him the beer, wife won't tip. If I don't get him the beer, he won't tip. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. So while they are arguing at me, I said, listen, I really don't have time to play mediator here. They went silent. I went and got both of them their alcohol. Daughter gives me an apologetic look upon my return. Presumably because her mother was acting back crap crazy upon seeing me bring a beer in tow. Flash forward to after their meals. Husband has had two beers at this point. Wife has stopped drinking and glares at me every time I return. Wife and daughter go to the car while husband pays. Husband drops me a $40 tip on a $68 tab. I told him I couldn't accept it. He insisted. Eventually, I pocketed it. Wife comes in an hour or so later demanding that I give her the $40 her husband gave me, stating that I was a terrible host and went against her and I didn't deserve a tip. She got my manager involved who said, She is not obliged to give you her tip. You left the restaurant and the tip has already been processed. Have a nice night. She was fuming screaming at me about how much of an a-hole I was for supplying her husband alcohol after she said no. Other guests start chiming in saying that she was being ignorant and I was doing my job, which is to provide guests with whatever they want and said that it wasn't my fault that she was a controlling wife. She storms out. Given the fact that I was put on the spot like that, I feel insanely guilty. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. Having worked many years in hospitality, I know how it feels when customers try to involve you in their drama. You were tipped fairly for the crap you had to deal with, and once someone gives you a tip, it is totally inappropriate then to ask for it back. Not classy at all. This next story was posted by user Plumbus Hun. Am I the asshole for breastfeeding shaming a woman? Okay, so my kids, female 3 and male 2, had their flu vaccine scheduled in the middle of a preschool session. So me and husband decided not to take them in for it and just have a nice day all together instead. So we went to the flu clinic, then the park. We'd been there for 35 minutes. There was probably four other toddlers there with their grown-ups. I was pushing my three-year-old on the swing and my partner was playing with our two-year-old on the little bouncers. We were all having a good time. Me and the girl are chatting, giggling, and daddy is laughing with the boy. So then a woman comes in with her kid that looked older, probably six or seven. They wander for a bit, her son seems kind of stroppy and huffy and is complaining. So then she sits down on the benches in the middle of the park within eyeline of everyone else at the park and starts to breastfeed him. I made eye contact with my husband and he widened his eyes and kind of nodded in her direction and then I kind of grimaced back to him. She didn't see this. However my daughter Molly, who is very chatty, speaks quite loudly, immediately says to me, Mummy, why has that lady got her booby out? which I reply, I think she's giving the boy some booby milk. We then have a conversation that went something like this. Is that like when Jane feeds booby milk to Harry? Yeah. But that boy isn't a baby. He's a big boy like Ruby. Yeah, I know. Why would he drink booby milk from a mummy if he is a big boy? Honestly, I don't know why. It's a silly thing for big children to do, isn't it? Hmm. He could have food instead, like broccoli or eggs or jelly. Me seeing an opportunity to get out of this conversation. Or cake. Do you like cake? You've got a treat cake for having your vaccination. And a smoothie in the car. Shall we go home soon? We then got off the swing, had a play on the slide and said goodbye to the park and went over to the car and clipped them in. 
While I was getting their snacks out of the back, the breastfeeding woman came over without her kid and said, I am disgusted about how you have shamed me for naturally feeding my child, and that I should teach my daughter that breastfeeding is the most natural thing in the world, and I obviously don't care for their emotional, physical well-being, and that they need breast milk instead of their toxic cake and smoothie. She had obviously heard the uncomfortable conversation I had with my daughter, which I thought I handled well. I was speechless for a second, but then said to her that if she really cared for her kid, then she wouldn't leave him standing in a busy car park on his own, and that she should wind her effing neck in. Her son was just stood in the front of her car alone on the road. I then slammed my boot, got in the car and told my husband to drive. When I told my husband, he said I was a bit of an asshole. But honestly, I don't think I was, except swearing. I think the glance you shared with your husband kind of showed your opinion on the matter straight away. Judgment. Which, to be honest, is probably the reaction most people would have witnessing a child of that age breastfeeding. However, as well as you handled an on-the-spot conversation with your child, we should be teaching our kids that everyone is different. We don't always do the same as everyone else and that we should be accepting of different types of people and the different ways they do things. I don't think you meant to shame the lady, but that's how she felt. And you got to have some of your say during the conversation with your daughter. So I think she should be allowed to communicate her feelings. So are you the a-hole? Not really. What do you guys think? Was she the a-hole? Let me know in the comments. This next story is by user Marzipan Polka. Am I the asshole for not staying home with my sick husband because I thought he was being dramatic? It's been quite some time since this happened, but I did not apologise because I think I'm in the right, in a sense, while my husband has adopted the forgiven and not forgotten on this. My husband had a really high fever and had to take time off work. He was feeling weak and told me he was experiencing pain in his joints. I took this as a normal symptom of fever. The next day, before leaving for work, he asked me to take the day off and stay. I told him no because it's just a fever and it will be fine with some rest. He kept on insisting that he did not feel that good and would like me to stay and go to the doctor because he felt like he couldn't. I was getting a bit impatient and yelled that it was just a fever. He's being too dramatic. I mean, I have really bad period cramps and still go to work on those days. He's felt ill before. What is so special about this time? I told him to go to bed and just rest. He did not say anything. I tried calling him at noon and he did not respond. I tried a couple times more and he did not pick up. Either he was resting or was ignoring me, is what I thought. Around three, my mother-in-law called me to tell me that husband had been admitted in the hospital. He was feeling too unwell and called his brother, his family lives about 20 minutes from us, and took him to the hospital. After diagnosis, it was found that he had dengue. I reached the hospital, but husband did not want to talk to me and told me to give him space. He was admitted for two weeks and while I went to the hospital every day, he either did not want to see me or responded with one word answers. Two weeks later, he was discharged and he went to live with his parents for a while. Sometime later, his mother and father came to my place to collect some stuff he needs for work. He was well enough to be remotely working. I had a good relationship with my in-laws and asked him why my husband won't talk. My mother-in-law said that he felt demeaned that I did not take his request seriously. I interjected that I was not supposed to know how ill he was and the symptoms were like a normal fever. Mother-in-law said, be what it may, I should at least apologise. I refused. I don't think I should. Mother-in-law said, whatever. Me and husband can work it out at our pace. We eventually did make up, as I said earlier. I never apologise and husband says, no issue. He forgives but will not forget this. He is not being passive aggressive or anything, but since the dengue incident, he has gotten a fever twice and also hurt his left arm, dominant one, and he's refused any help from me. He will not be rude, but will say, thank you, but I can manage myself. The tone suggests he still has not moved on from the incident. I think the issue might end if I apologise for the incident, but honestly, I still think I've not done anything wrong. Am I the a-hole for this? Well, yes, you should definitely apologise. Understand that men can be quite pathetic when they're ill, and the majority of the time they think it's worse than it actually is, but in this case, you were unlucky and he was actually ill. I do think he was being a bit petty not getting back to you when you called. You were clearly trying to check up on him and then not seeing you at the hospital. It does seem like he's trying to punish you for that. If my husband was admitted to hospital, I'd expect a phone call straight away. And I think that maybe he needs to apologise for his behaviour too. But he never will unless you apologise for being wrong about how ill he was. Because you know, you were wrong. This next story was posted by Deleted. Am I the a-hole for not telling someone I can read lips? This happened pre-Covid by the way. I've had hearing loss for most of my life, but it was diagnosed when I was about seven years old, so I learned to read lips at the same time I was learning to speak. I'm very proficient in reading lips. 
Whenever I work with someone new, I make sure to let them know that I have hearing loss and to make sure that they are facing me and I'm aware that they're talking to me. I've never actually mentioned to any co-workers that I could read lips, but I'm pretty sure most of them at least suspect it strongly. A new co-worker started and I did my customary introduction and disclaimer about my hearing. I don't think she believed me because she got very offended when I ignored her. The problem being she was trying to get my attention from behind me and I genuinely did not hear her. Once someone got my attention I apologised to her and pointed out that I did have hearing loss and I wasn't aware that she was talking to me. A few days later she was venting to a mutual co-worker. The only problem was she was facing me and I could read her lips perfectly. After a few minutes I approached her and let her know that if she was going to crap talk someone she needed to make sure they couldn't understand her and that I was reading her lips the entire time. I told her I was upset that she wouldn't just come to me and that I did tell her twice that I was partially deaf and couldn't hear her. She freaked out because apparently I was being rude by reading her lips when she was facing me. Well, you're definitely not the a-hole. You let people know you have hearing loss. You don't have to declare to everyone that you can read lips as well. To be honest, I think she had a go at you about not telling her you read lips because she was embarrassed that she'd been caught bad mouthing you and she was deflecting. She's a new employee, thinks she'd be behaving better to make new work friends. Instead, she showed her true two-faced colours. She is definitely the a-hole in this situation. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you have heard, please like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the daily content from Emma Reads Reddit. See you tomorrow.